Grief-stricken Piers Morgan has told how Shane Warne was one of the first people to call him following his exit from Good Morning Britain last year. The former ITV host, 56, told of his heartbreak at learning of the death of the Australian cricket star and his close friend who died from a suspected heart attack today, aged just 52. Writing in an article for The Sun, the former newspaper editor opened up on his friendship with the late cricketer. Praising the sportsman for being a loyal, kind and generous friend, Beers revealed that Shane reached out to him during a difficult period. Beers wrote, he was one of the first people to call me when I left Good Morning Britain a year ago over the Meghan Markle debacle, raging with fury that I'd lost my job for having an opinion, and when TV regulators Ofcom later ruled in my favor, he texted to say, congrats on the verdict mate, keep smashing every idiot and holding them accountable, love it. Like me, Shane had a deep-rooted aversion to the cancel culture woke brigade, whining snowflakes, lying politicians and political correctness. If he said he'd do something for you, he'd do it, and always with a smile on his face and time for everyone, he added. Piers stormed off GMB after clashing with weatherman Alex Beresford over Meghan Markle's a landmark interview with Oprah Winfrey. The Duchess of Sussex claimed during the interview to have experienced suicidal thoughts as part of the royal family, but Piers slammed the claims, saying, I'm sorry, I don't believe a word she says. I wouldn't believe her if she read me a weather report. In his tribute to the sportsman, Piers went on to reveal that Shane played twice in his village's annual cricket match and spent hours speaking to fans and signing autographs. The cricket legend's death was confirmed earlier today in a statement from his management team. They said that he had been found unresponsive in his villa on the Thai island of Koh Samui. The statement read, Shane was found unresponsive in his villa and despite the best efforts of medical staff, he could not be revived. The family requests privacy at this time and will provide further details in due course. Tributes began to pour in following the devastating news. Earlier on, Piers wrote, absolutely devastated to hear that at Shane Warren has died from a heart attack aged just 52. He was a genius cricketer, a supreme entertainer, a fantastic bloke and a great loyal friend for many years. Just gutting news. R.I.P. Warney, I loved every minute in your company. In his column, he also shared that the last time he was in contact with the star was yesterday morning. Piers said that Shane responded to a post he shared about the conflict in Ukraine, calling his remarks spot on. He ended his tribute, but I enjoyed every second of my hundreds of hours in his exhilarating, unpredictable and always entertaining company, and of how many people in life can you say that?